Welcome to my office. My name is Melissa Stewart. I've written more than 150 books for children. Today I'm going to talk to you about verbs, vivid verbs to be exact. Vivid verbs can be the difference between a sentence that's okay and a sentence that's outstanding. I want all my sentences to be outstanding so that you, my readers, will get the most out of my books. To help you understand the power of strong, vivid verbs, I'm going to show you how I change some of the verbs in my book, Beneath the Sun, during the revision process. In early drafts of Beneath the Sun, I had this sentence, an earthworm rolls itself into a ball. That sentence is pretty good. It gets the job done, and roll is an active verb. But still, I asked myself, how can I make it even better? Here's the sentence that appears in the printed book. An earthworm stops tumbling through the soil and loops its long, lean body in a tight ball. It's better, right? Loop is more exact than roll. And once I had the perfect vivid verb, it inspired me to describe the worm's body more precisely. The alliteration of loop, long, and lean makes this sentence fun to read, and it really paints a picture with words. Even if there wasn't an illustration, you could still see the earthworm in your mind. Here's another example from an early draft of Beneath the Sun. A horned lizard rests in the shade of a shrub. As I revise the manuscript, I change the sentence to this. A horned lizard stretches out in the shade of a shrub, making its body almost invisible. This change helps readers really understand what the lizard's doing because the new vivid verb gives you more information. As I was researching spittlebugs, Every source I read said that they release fluid from their bodies, but I didn't know exactly what that meant. Did the liquid ooze out slowly? Did it blast out at top speed? I wanted to really understand what was happening, and I knew my readers would too. So I contacted an entomologist, a scientist who studies insects, and I asked him lots of questions about the spittlebug's fluid and what it looks like while it's exiting the insect's body. Then, I use that information to write this sentence. A spittlebug squirts milky white goo out of its abdomen and whips it into a bubbly froth. I'm glad I went to all that trouble because the illustrator decided not to show the process in her art. That means the only way for you to understand what's happening is by reading the words and picturing them in your mind. Using the verb squirts helps you create that mental image. Here's one sentence that I got right on the very first try. A turkey vulture cools down by spraying urine on its legs. Sometimes the facts I find are so amazing that the perfect sentence pops into my mind right away. But most of the time, I have to work at it. Now it's your turn. I've created a worksheet with some more examples from Beneath the Sun. After you read each sentence, fill in the blank with the correct vivid verb. When you're done, you can read the book to check your answers.